from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Bakersfield, California has been designated the smoggiest city in the U.S. Their official city slogan is, come see, well, nothing. Getting married is getting pricier. According to the Knott's latest survey, wedding spending has reached an all-time high. On average, couples are now dropping $35,329 to say, I do. That is crazy! T take the money! Put a down payment on a house! Elope! Holy cow! A DUI suspect in Pennsylvania was caught with a drunk chihuahua in his car. The dog's only words were, yo quiero a new app called Pop Your Bubble was released this week. It prompts you to follow Facebook users who've been identified by an algorithm as your demographic opposite. So it suggests you follow people it knows you're going to disagree with. Oh yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong with that! An American Airlines flight attendant has been suspended after allegedly hitting a woman with her stroller and barely missing her two children. United Airlines immediately issued a press release saying, hey, it's not us this time! A federal air marshal left her gun in the airplane restroom. It's a good thing there wasn't an emergency, too, because the only thing in the marshal's holster was air freshener. The Kansas students who uncovered their principal's secret have been invited to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. You know, with investigative skills like that, is the Trump administration sure they want to be that close to these kids? The FCC has cleared the way for big TV network mergers, so the day could come where we'd have a single Fox-CBS channel or other strange combination. Meaning it's actually possible we may someday get that dreamed-of crossover between Supernatural and The Blacklist. Oh, come on, tell me you wouldn't watch that! The Vermont Teddy Bear Company has unveiled a special line of bears that are missing arms and legs for children who also have lost limbs. They are not, however, 25% off. Police were called after a guy in China licked chicken poop on a $1,600 bet. The guy had just collected some of the poop to use as fertilizer when another man offered him $1,600 to kneel down for a little taste. Well, when the guy did, the man wouldn't pay up, so he called the cops. They mediated and the chicken poop liquor, uh, he got an undisclosed amount of money. Sounds like the guy who refused to pay up on the bet was full of… well, chicken poop. North Korea is warning of a super-mighty preemptive strike that would reduce American military forces in South Korea and the U.S. mainland to ashes. Kim Jong-un's nation also warns that the U.S. and its allies should not mess with us. A super mighty preemptive strike. <sighs> Ooh. By the by, the way, he came up with that idea when Dean Warmer told him and the rest of Delta House that they were under double secret probation. Be sure to join me for my first official live chat on YouTube. It's coming up Saturday, May 6th, 3 p.m. Central. That is 4 p.m. Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a Q&A, I'll have a giveaway or two, might even tell a weird darkness story during the broadcast. That's Saturday, May 6th. Hope you can join me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Well, you've been asking for it, now it is open! The Marler House Store. It has daily dose of weird news and weird darkness t-shirts coffee mugs, and more, and you can check it out at MarlarHouse.com slash store. Hey, have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It is the official newsletter of Marler House. Subscribers to the Marler Sheet are automatically entered in monthly prize drawings, so you can sign up for the Marler Sheet free at MarlarHouse.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos. Delta's already on probation. They are? Yes, sir. Oh. Then as of this moment, they're on double secret probation.